Hello, I am Nova. Welcome to Genshin Impact. Let's go talk to Chi Chi. We fixed the ballista, but we didn't get any cocoa goat. Forgive us. We were unable to fulfill our end of the contract. We found no trace of the cocoa goat adepti beast of which you speak. <sighs> what a disappointment. Don't worry about it. But I feel very disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that I'm disappointed? Oh, poor Chi Chi. Why does Paimon feel so guilty all of a sudden? Chi Chi did. You have any other clues? What's the cocoa goat for? Cocoa goat milk is tasty. So tasty. Much better than normal goat milk. Only an adepta beast could make such tasty milk. I'm sorry. I have a poor memory. I cannot remember the name of the milk. That's why I wrote it down. Where did I put it? Ah, here. This is the name. Coconut milk. God damn it. Huh? <sighs> I owe you both an apology. I hastily agreed to what appeared to be an equitable agreement with this zombie child, when perhaps I should have undertaken further due diligence. Never mind, Zhongli. You didn't know. As the Leeward proverb goes, all things are random and... Um... So how are you supposed to predict anything? Literally no one could have seen this coming. Excuse me, everyone. Did Chi-Chi say a bad thing? But Paimon's gonna leave the job of shattering this poor kiddo's world to you. It's time to tell you where coconut milk comes from. Uh, it all begins with the fruit of the coconut tree. No. Im impossible. Seems Chi Chi took this pretty hard. She just needs time to work through it. <laughs> Someone learnt a valuable life lesson today, then. Thank you all for looking after my little Chi Chi. Who are you, and is that a snake? Snake. Might I ask who? Ah, how rude of me. I'm Baiju, boss of the Boo Boo Pharmacy. Oh, I've seen your name before. I meant that Chi Chi was the boss. Turns out it's some wacko who wears medicinal ingredients around his neck. What a sorry state of affairs. This little mascot is even more of a simpleton than Chi-Chi. Hey, the snake talks. Of course it does. Ah, the medicine... The snake is speaking! Wow, a talking snake. I prefer to stay silent. But faced with strangers, I must speak. Lest you mistake me for an escapee from the medicine cabinet, for I am a living, breathing serpent! <laughs> Don't mind Chung Sheng. She's a good girl, really. As for you three, communal chaos causing with Chi Chi aside, what business brings you here? Do you sell everlasting incense in this fine establishment? Everlasting incense? Why, of course we do! Whew, at last! Things are fine! Come together. Three million more. Top quality. Guaranteed. Three million. <laughs> you might as well just rob the golden house. Oh, but the chasing have taken it over for now. Security will be tighter than usual. Hmm. Three million. An innocuous number in and of itself. Though practically speaking, it could be a hard sum to come by. It's a crazy number. We'd never be able to make that much more of. And as for Mr. Zhang Li, he's around three million short. <laughs> this is correct. No shame. <laughs> what are we gonna do? Is this the part where we go crawling back to child? Possibly. Twenty minutes later. <laughs> Coco goat. Coco goat. <laughs> 
my sides hurt. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe you fell for that. Hey, less laughter, more sympathy. I'm almost in tears over here. Uh, thank you. That was the best laugh I've had in a long time. In return, I'm more than happy to sort out this mess you've managed to get yourselves into. Excuse me, sir. Dr. Baiju, isn't it? Truly honored. I'm Child, one of the Fatui Harbingers. Forgive my audacity, but I see a great many opportunities for us to collaborate in the future. If Boo Boo Pharmacy needed a stable supply of, say, coconut milk, the Fatui could help by setting up a robust and speedy distribution network. Strange. I knew the Fatui infiltrated businesses with seductive deals, but so much fuss over coconut milk? The Chi Chi, it's worth it, I guess. Coconut milk. Baiju, quick. Chi Chi wants coconut milk. Give me coconut milk. <laughs> now. Ah, yes, of course, Chi Chi. Anything you want. Thank you, child. I look forward to a successful collaboration in the future. I can give you a discount on that everlasting incense, too. Let's say 2,990,000 mora. Wow. Big discount. That's like zero difference from three million. Hmm. Two million nine hundred and ninety thousand. Also an innocuous number in and of itself, though practically speaking, it is a whole ten thousand less than the original sum of three million. Well, now that this is settled, we must head back to Yujing Terrace. Mr. Child, Dr. Baiju, little Miss Chi Chi, see you soon. That was fun. <laughs> ah, that lot is an absolute riot. Honestly, I can't remember the last time I laughed so hard. So, you've been eavesdropping, I hope. What have I missed? Huh? Yes, Master Child. They spoke of the Qixing taking the Golden House. Oh. Well, well, well. Ningguang and her Qixing cronies. What else would they be hiding in the Golden House? not the Exuvia. I apologize, but I warned you, didn't I? As the old Leo is saying goes, the walls have ears. Traitor. <laughs> Can you see me just... Am I actually looking at him? No, I'm looking at the other guy. Like, I'm listening to you too, bud. Do you have cocoa goat milk? Coconut milk? Coconut milk, now. <laughs> okay, now we're doing Venti's quest a little bit because I accidentally started it. We'll go to Jean's uh, the next time we do something. We have this spying glass thing that shows. Behold, a floaty imaginary friend for floaty headed Flora! A bloaty floaty! We have this, like, eyeglass thing that shows imaginary friends, I guess. She likes the floaty Wait, things. Imaginary friends can be plants now? Apparently. <laughs> Hi, Traveler. Hi, Bard. Hi, Flora. Can I ask a question? Sure. How can I help? Who's your friend? Hmm. Oh, you mean Mr. Floaty? Most people can't see him. Mr. Floaty is my bestest friend. We grew up together. Uh, no fair. Paimon hates feeling left out. You could look too. Flora, why exactly are you friends with a bloaty floaty? What's wrong with it? I always wanted to be friends with a plant who could fly. Friends with a flying plant? Why? <laughs> because then when it's windy, you and your friend can fly off into the sky together. You gotta admit, that's pretty cool. Isn't that called being blown away? <laughs> that's what some people like to call it. I only found out this plant existed from an explorer who told me stories of his adventures. I think his name was... Stanley. Oh, I know Stanley. Stanley's an adventurer. And you can tell he's an expert at it from the stories he tells. <laughs> the amazing adventures of Stanley are super famous in Mondstadt. He's in the city at the moment. You should go ask him to tell you some of his stories. That sounds like a fun idea for next time. But uh, right now we have other things to attend to. Flora's a pretty 
mysterious kid. Hmm, which child shall we interrogate next? Paimon's thinking. <gasps> oh, how about that little guy on the bridge? Pigeon boy, Timmy. A ruin god. Wow. No way! Well, uh, that is unexpected. Timmy's imaginary friend is a ruin god? Am I seeing things? I've heard of guardian angels, but uh, come on. Paimon's freaking out right now. That thing is sure to attack us. Uh, <laughs> uh what say you? We postpone our conversation with Timmy for the time being. Paimon, it's time to say the line. <laughs> huh? Paimon has a favorite line? The one about exploring the area ahead of us later. <laughs> uh, seriously? Oh, alright then. How about we explore the area ahead of us later? Nice. Children are more open minded. Is that why they can think up all kinds of imaginary friends? Ah, oh, fitting, isn't it? That the City of Freedom should be home to children with such boundless powers of imagination. What about adults' imaginations? Let's ask some adults at the tavern! To Luke and Kaya. The thing about wine is... You have to drink it at the tavern, or you miss out on half the fun. Seems to me you'd find some way of keeping yourself amused, even if you drank alone. <laughs> if I didn't know any better, I would say you're being deliberately uncivil. Just drink responsibly on my premises, okay? Oh, and if I did have one too many, what then? You'd throw me out along with the trash, is that it? Throw you out? You know, the same way you threw out Father's legacy. You sold off his mansion. Or maybe you've forgotten. I see no reason to cling to things that have outlived their purpose. Is that so? Then I trust you were most swift indeed to part with a certain vase? Sorry. I have no recollection. Me? No. I don't imagine any friends. Too busy imagining epic adventures. What? Anyone here got one? Seems our suspicions were right. Grown-ups don't appear to have imaginary friends. Like I said, a lack of childlike wonder. Seems adults are the same everywhere. So people just stop dreaming when they grow up? Okay, well, Paimon, for one, never wants to grow up. <laughs> if I grow up, will you disappear? <laughs> hmm, this raises an interesting question. At what age exactly do people's imaginary friends disappear? Let's go and check. How? Hmm, how about Ellen? Someone of her age surely must have some imagination left, Maybe don't you think? Uh-oh. Somehow, Paimon finds the idea of not being able to see Ellen's imaginary friend kind of scary. I do commissions with Ellen all the time. Breaking random wooden things. Jean. Okay then. <laughs> Is Master Jean Ellen's imaginary friend? Maybe she just admires her a lot. Ellen's really determined to become a knight. Yeah, she's so conscientious, it's terrifying. Hmm? Oh, hello. What are you guys doing? Are you always training here? <laughs> you bet. Today, I heard Stanley talking about his adventures. It was incredible. It got me really pumped up. Oh, I hope I can be as outstanding as him one day. 
So that you can fight shoulder to shoulder with Master Jean? <laughs> I... I mean, obviously, I want to become a knight. And if I got to go on an adventure with Jean herself, well, even better. Seems Ellen really looks up to Jean. There's nothing wrong with that. Oh, thanks. I was thinking, it's not every day I get to hang out with the honorary knight. Would you join me for some sword training? Okay. Oh, how can I smash all these training dummies at once? This again. Haven't I done enough of these? Okay. Wow. Shame. Didn't manage to. Oh, how can I, I can smash probably all break them all at once then. At once? Huh. So that's how to do it. I'm impressed. I'm too strong for these wooden things now. Oh, thank you. It's clear I still have a long way to go in my training. <laughs> so modest. I, for one, think you're quite the pro at this already. Oh, well, I'm exhausted from training, so clearly my fitness needs some work. One day, though, I'll smash all the training dummies in Mondstadt. Ellen, Ellen, she's our girl. If she can't do it, um, Hilly Churl. Nice. Oh, thanks. Shoot, I got so caught up here I forgot there's something I was supposed to do today. Ugh. But I'm so sore from training. I can hardly move. Honorary Knight, could you deliver a message to Jack for me? So, sure, where do I find him? He's gone adventuring at the Temple of the Lion with Stanley today. Oh. Stanley's a truly legendary adventurer, renowned in all of Mondstadt. He once set foot in the Mare Javari. We were going to meet up tonight and discuss adventure plans. <sighs> could you let him know it'll have to be another day? Temple of the Lion? Sure. I miss that place. Great! Thank you so much. Temple of the Lion. Da -da 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 -da. Well, I think that's enough for this one, I guess. And then we'll be back to do more things. Uh, actually, I'll quickly roll on the standard banner. Just one, like, uh, temple. Who are we gonna get? What are we gonna get, maybe? Sword, sword, book, bow, catalyst, mace, or club. A sacrificial sword! What? I can finally make a sing show. I've been waiting for that for ages. And a catalyst. I have perception. Damn, I got two things. Must have been right there. If only I had another five. I'm getting loads of the pink ones though. Well, building it up. Is that an achievement? You failed to find a cocoa goat. <laughs> you managed to repair the mechanism. Yay. Okay. Sacrificial sword. Great, I'll you'll be seeing him in future, maybe even replacing Lumine here. Depends. I always need like two teams for Abyss now. Be gone. 